<laughs> oh my goodness. Hey guys, welcome to week one of the No Sun Challenge. So, uh, Rocky, come back. Rocky, come. Welcome to week one of No Spun Challenge. <laughs> so, this week, hello, we successfully only spent, I believe it was $8.83 to be exact. Okay, take three. So, week one of the No Spun Challenge. We actually did really well. I'm really proud of us. We spent under $10 the first week. I know the first week was a short week, but it was still only $10. So that was good. And we have canceled quite a few subscriptions, uh, whether it be some phone apps or TV channels. I'm going to add all of those up and put them here after I'm done the video. But yeah. Um, Grocery shopping is going to be at the end of this week. So we're also going to, that is a necessity, but we are still going to try and save on that. Um, we will be going to the No Name store here in town and I'm going to try and buy the things only that we need. And we're going to eat the stuff that we do have already. Like everyone, we have a pantry with some stuff in it still. So we can do that also on top of the no name brand stuff that we do end up finding and i want to try and get the no name stuff that is on sale fingers crossed we can do that really really well for the summer we are going to be having not this side that side that you can't see i'll show you so this side over here like this half of the yard we're going to make it a garden this summer in order to help us with the no, no spend challenges. We are hoping to do the no spend challenge every, we, sh we should be doing it in January. Um, so either every January or February, or we will be doing the no spend challenge, especially with just having Christmas just before that. And we do have quite the large family, five daughters and Quite a few edibles um but yeah so we've been planning the garden and up at the top there near the shed there i want to get a couple of apple trees maybe a peach tree i don't think we can grow lemon trees here <laughs> we'll have to look it up um i'm even iffy on the peach tree it just it depends on our climate right um and then from from there down we'll have tomatoes what did, what else did we have in our seeds sierra tomatoes Do you want me to go grab one? green onions dill, dill corn, corn carrot. what else good carrots yeah we had a bunch of lettuce pumpkins. oh a bunch of different types of lettuce pumpkins Onion. squash so with that a lot of those we can hopefully preserve and I also want to plant. And a bunch of flowers. I also want to plant um, a different berries so that they come up every year. That's the goal to have plants that are going to come back every year, so that there's a little bit less work there. The thing to help with the no spend challenge would be. <laughs> would be um, going to. The Salvation Army, Goodwill, Value Village, trying to get things that are used and not going to our landfill. And then we're that'll cut costs for how much we do end up spending for the stuff that we need. I will be listing a few of our items for sale online and whatnot soon too. I do have a second vehicle. I still have our Subaru still. So that's another big costly item that I will be posting shortly up for sale again in hopes that we sell that because that would be a huge chunk of money that we'd be saving monthly. So that would be great. I just need to get on that because I've been procrastinating. <laughs> I have to say that I'm pretty lucky that I'm able to record 
this late at night. Thank you, winter solstice. It is past five now. What time is it? Yeah, it's almost six o'clock and it's still bright out. This is amazing. I love this for us. Just means planting season is coming sooner and sooner. Sierra and I are gonna drop a plan for where we wanna plant everything and the stuff that goes best together. And I'll add a clip in. So here's just that side of the yard that I was saying that we're gonna put the garden. We had a smaller one here last year. <laughs> Jersey. He's new to liking playing with balls. So he's pretty excited. So it'll be from probably here all the way up to there, which will be good. But last year we only had a garden from here to here and then basically the edge of this burn barrel to the fence it was very small and we didn't have a lot of sun but our neighbors have all taken down a lot of their trees because they were dead because they were they were going to be a um, issue some of them did fall down this one was really dead so they just cut off the parts that were not good so it's safe back here now for everyone to play and It'll be good for our garden. So Sierra and I are just looking in this planting book, Gardening for Beginners, that we thrifted at, remember what it was called? Salvation Army. Oh, right. So we grabbed this at the Salvation Army and it's more about like flower gardens, but we found this cool page for fruit trees, which we said we wanted to plant. So we found out that sour cherries are good to plant in zones four to eight. Oh wait, we can't. We're in zone three. Mm. Never mind. Scrap that one. But elderberries, common apple, and plum. We can plant all three of those in our zone. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Not the plum. Can you flip this page down, Kelly? To the map, go back. There we go. So, we are in zone three, the blue here. The light blue. Oh, right there, then. Yeah. The yellow is the zone four. So that's why we can't plant those other two trees. But I'm excited for the elderberries. Which ones are the elderberries? These ones here, Kelly. This one? Nope, this one. This one? Yep, they're really good for you. Whoa! And then the apple beside it. That yep. looks cool. So we'll plant those this summer in the Ooh, backyard. What kind of plant is this? Those ones are plums. Plums? We also just found this really cool herb spiral. Mm, that looks really fun to make. Just, um, we have these in the backyard. Um, yeah. Bricks, there we go words we could make this and it looks so pretty and most of them would grow back every year right here so cool we'll have to do that maybe we'll do that like up in the side yard mm. cool so I was hoping that this book would have a little more on vegetable gardening, um, but it does give you a lot of information for planning, which will be good. I'm really happy that we got this because it is going to help for when we do have our own home one day for flower gardens too. <laughs> Maya. Um, I'll do another video on actual garden planning. I'll see you next week for week two. Bye. Let us know in the comments below how you made out on your first week, if you're doing this challenge with us on your no spend challenge.
I'm really hoping that this week goes really well. Today's already day one of this week. So good luck everyone and be kind to yourself.